So I've got a game here. It's just a question and answer game. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, this lady here has some questions to do with biology. And then the students who are revising can just... Um, let's just pick an answer, then they get a score. So couple of answers that lady asked the question you just pick one it's easy and um, what I want to do is put an advert at the top uh, so when people play my game they see a small advert appear and I want the advert to be served by AdMob and I'll, if you've got um, an Android phone that's quite easy to do I think there's an Android plugin and uh, I've done a video on how to do adverts for Android which I'll put the link in the description uh, for Windows Phone I found it a bit harder there are some plugins but they don't seem to work in Unity so the way I've done it is just to export the, uh, well, make a solution for Visual Studio, I think it's called, and then just put the adverts in there rather than put the adverts in Unity. Uh, it's quite simple, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so first you want to export, uh, well, you want to build the uh, project. So go to File and then Build Settings, and then check that Windows Phone is selected, mine is. You can go to your player settings and just check that these are all right. There isn't really much to... To put in Windows Phone because you don't need to. Um, what don't you need to do? You don't need to sign, create a certificate to sign it, which you do in Android. Um, and then you just press Build, and then navigate to wherever you want to build the the uh, project. So I will just build it here. So I'll select that, and then press Select Folder. And then it will, this will take a little while because I've got quite a, lot, quite a few scenes, but it will build the project. Come on. Anyway, once it's done this, you want to navigate in Explorer to, oh, there you go, it opens it up in Explorer actually. And you will have. Um, an SLN file <coughs> which is a solution so you'll need uh, Visual Studio to open this and if you've not got Visual Studio just Google Visual Studio and there's a there is a free version of it um, I've got like the pro developer version because I'm a student uh, if you're a student you want to sign up to a thing called DreamSpark and you can get the professional developer version uh, for free I think it is it's very good uh, so once you've double clicked that this opens um, and then you need to download uh, a library to put into here so in Google you want to search for add mob for Windows Phone 8 it's quite you know quite simple <laughs> um, so once you've searched for, for that it was already up I don't know why it did that um, it's the first link which will take you to the developers.google.com site uh, and then what you want to import is this it's the SDK so um, this is what you want to download where it says download the SDK so you want to click that and then click that and then extract the zip file uh, so once you've downloaded that, you switch back to Visual Studio. Uh, here we go. And then you need to add what you just download, downloaded as a reference. So right click references. Add reference. <clears throat> and then click browse. Uh, and then you just add the Google doc. DLL. Now the chances are actually that this won't be here for you because you've just downloaded it. So you want to click browse here. Browse to where you've downloaded and extracted the Windows Phone 8 adds DLL uh, and click that. And once you've done that this will appear in the browse bit. And then you can just tick it. And click OK. Uh, so that's quite simple. The next thing you need to do is add some permissions to 
the app. Um, so if you're going to display ads, you need permissions for the ad for the app to access the internet, so it can grab the grab the advert. Uh, now, if you're using Windows Phone uh, AdMob, that's different to if you're using the Windows what's it called the Microsoft uh, the Microsoft adverts. I can't remember what they're called now. They they use different permissions than the window uh, than the Android one. So you need to look up which permissions you need um, which is quite simple actually because if you go back a page and you go back to the ad mob for Windows 8 and just scroll down it actually has a list of all the the capabilities it needs uh, which is just I think there's about five yeah so this media library audio one the media library playback one, networking, sensors, web browser component. So to add all these, you just go back to Visual Studio. Uh, and then you're looking for, I think it's in properties, this here, WM app manifest.xml. So just double click that. And then click capabilities. And then double check that your capabilities has the same as what this recommends so I'm not going to remove any from here because um, I think unity will have added some so I'll just add ones that it says so ID cap networking uh, yeah already ticked ID cap web browser component uh, that's not ticked, so I'll tick it. ID cap media lib playback, yeah, audio, yeah. So then save that. Uh, and then the next thing you need to do is add the advert to your to your view. So there's different ways you can do this. You can do this uh, in the code, or you can do this by editing. Uh, one of your files here, the app.xaml, XAML, I think they call it. Um, so I just made a mistake just then. Uh, it's main page dot XAML you want to open, so it's the main page dot XAML, not the app dot XAML. Um, so once you open it, you have uh, this display which is meant to be your phone, and then you have a bunch of XML uh, here. Uh, so one thing that I've noticed is that when you added the reference to Google Ads, uh, this should have been generated, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why uh, it doesn't add that sometimes. But if things start to break from here on, uh, this namespace probably needs to be defined. So I'll just just pause the video and type. Uh, X M L N S, you know, Google Ads equals blah blah blah, and just you want to make sure that's in there. Um, and then what you need to do is, well, what I'm going to do actually first is just change this to landscape because my my app is landscape. Uh, shouldn't really matter if you know you should still work if your app's portrait or whatever. You can do whatever you like there. And then you want to put your ad in this bit here. So this is where it's drawing the layout, uh, and you're going. I'm going to put my address at the top. So I'm going to put a link in the description to two examples. Um, so this is my site with two examples. The first one you don't want if you've been following my tutorial because this is for PubSensor. So PubSensor is Microsoft's version of add mob um, you you probably don't want it but you might be using Microsoft ads uh, in which case you do want that this second bit of XML under here is uh, for add mob so you put it in and then this is where your ad will go at the top um, this, so this is just a 480 by 80 banner and it's in the middle and if you want to move about where it is, it's not that hard. Uh, you can see here, you know, the 
the margins where it's aligned the height the width all that kind of stuff what you do need to change is your add unit id so you just need to grab the id from uh, add mob which you should have created an ad already to use and that that will have an id just copy out xxx and put your id there and then when you run this you shouldn't really run this on your own device um, you should get a test ad if you want to do that don't use a live ad um, but once you've done that if you just press you know the run on device and your unity app will run as normal but in the top you'll have an advert so that's it